If you are struggling to attract what you want, if you're struggling to manifest what you want, then this video is going to be for you. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step method that I want you guys to start doing daily. What this is going to do is remove the energy blockage of fear from your meridian points. The reason why this is important when it comes to manifesting and attracting what you want, because fear itself is not a masculine energy, but the way fear manifests is. And if we're trapped in our masculine energy, we cannot attract, we cannot manifest, and we cannot receive. Those are all traits of our feminine energy. Feminine energy is the creator. Feminine energy is receptive. So if we are trapped in our masculine, there are walls up around our heart and our manifestations and everything we want are knocking on a closed door. The way that fear manifests as a masculine energy is anytime we are led to protect ourselves, what are we doing? We are creating a structure to make sure that what, we don't get hurt again. We don't try to achieve something that we can't achieve. We're creating a structure and we're creating limits. That is how fear manifests as masculine energy. Fear of not being good enough, fear of being unseen, fear of never being in shape, fear of never being healthy. So regardless of where you are, maybe you are more introspective now, you definitely have blockages of fear in your body. If you guys have not done these Meridian Point massages, I do this every day and this has been like the cherry on top. What I do every morning, I'll sit with myself. I always say connect and redirect. I have a guided three minute meditation that you can download as well. I'll put that in the description box too. I always say connect to redirect. So I always, when I'm doing my breathing, heart, tummy, and I'll breathe to connect to myself, to connect my mind and my body. Once I'm connected to myself, I'll sit here and I sit in my feminine energy and I get really intuitive, you know, cause you have no secrets from yourself. I always say that. And I'll ask myself, what am I afraid of? What am I afraid of right now? And don't worry about going to the deep, deep, deep stuff. Focus on what is in the forefront of your mind right now. What is your fear today? Is it love? Is it health? Is it family? Is it success goals? What is it? Focus on the fear that you have right now because without intention, nothing will change. If you sit down and you do this massage without having what you want in the forefront of your mind, closing your eyes, focusing on it, you have to bring it to the forefront of your mind and hold it there and focus on it and say it. I am this. Speak the fear into existence. If you don't shine a light on it, you will continue to suppress it and hold it within your body. You bring it to the forefront of your mind, not to activate it, with the intention to release it. All right guys, so I always have a washcloth and just wipe your foot, dry it. And then you wanna have some type of lotion or oil. Okay. I put my headphones on because I do listen to my own guided audio. I truly love it. And I will wait for the music to start. This is how you do the massage. Obviously, you'll feel the pressure point right here. It's gonna be very painful. So when you have the fear at the forefront of your mind, what are you releasing? And I say, say it out loud. Say it out loud as you push and really push into that spot. Go down and as you release that fear, say it out loud and push. Push, push, push to release it. Go back down. What are you afraid of? Release that fear. Push. Like, so as you push, release. Massage as long as you can, bring it back down. If you can go deeper, go deeper. And then you're gonna switch sides. So once you're done with the session, what we're going to do is bring the energy back in. So we have just released all the negativity, fear, anything that doesn't feel good. In yoga, what we always do at the end, the reason why we do Shavasana is because you're sealing the practice. You're bringing the love back in. So whatever you are releasing, and only focus on one fear at a time, you guys. One fear at a time until you feel different. You will always feel an intersection in your mind where all of a sudden, Where'd that thing go? It's like missing. You're not thinking about it. You're not ruminating about it. You don't have that trigger. I promise you guys, this is effective. So whatever the fear was, affirm the opposite back in. So let's say, you know, many of us are struggling in love these days. So let's say your fear that you're never going to meet anyone. What I want you to do with both your feet on the ground, affirm the opposite. I am blessed with a loving relationship. Let's just say that. I'm blessed with a loving relationship. You're tapping your feet. So you want to tap that spot again. I'm blessed with a loving relationship. And sit for a minute, let it process. You should feel it, you guys. You feel it in your whole life. I'm blessed with a loving relationship. And if you want to stand up, I'm blessed with a loving relationship. I'm blessed with a loving relationship.
blessed loving relationship. You will feel it in your body. You will feel the energy moving in your body, you guys, I promise you. And by hitting that meridian point again and affirming, you're sealing the practice. You're bringing it back in. So if you start doing this every morning for three consecutive days, I promise you that you will feel a shift. Learning how to move your energy will bring all your manifestations to the forefront of your life. I promise you, your relationships will transform. If this was helpful, you guys, don't forget to listen to the guided audio. It's right there. There's a link in the description to download it to your phone. And then you'll also want to watch this video. But tomorrow on Sunday, I am posting an entirely new video with how to stay in your feminine energy 24 seven, because I know this is something that we all struggle with. All right, guys, I am Angela Jean, and I will see you tomorrow.